there! How's it going? So have you memorized all the voice sounds by now? So today I'm going to introduce you to what's called the small hiraganas. Hmm, what does that mean? Small hiraganas, there are actually four of them. Ya, yu, yo, and tsu. Today I'm going to introduce you to the small ya, yu, and yo. Just to let you know, there are no words that start with this small ya, yu, and yo. The big ones do, but not the small ones. So the small ones always come in the middle of a word or the end of a word. And there's also one more rule. It only comes after a e sound, so which means in the hiragana chart, if you look at the e row, ki, shi, ji, ni, hi, mi, ri. For instance, ki and ya. Hmm. If you put these together, if it's a big ya, it's just ki ya, ki ya. But if it becomes a small ya, it sounds like this, kya, kya. Yeah, if you notice, it becomes kind of quick and short. So let's see how it goes with the other ones too. Kya, kyu, kyo. Did you notice that? It's not ki ya, ki yu, ki yo, but kya kyu kyo, kya kyu kyo. It's very quick. So let's go on. If it's with a shi sound, it sounds like this. Sha, shu, sho. And with the chi sound, cha, chu, cho. And with the ni sound, nya, nyu, nyo. And with the hi sound, hya, hyu, hyo. With the mi sound, nya, mu, myo. And with the B sound, dia, dyu, dyo. Dia, dyu, dyo might be a little hard to pronounce, but please practice, okay? So in the Japanese language, there are a lot of words that has this small ya, yu, or yo. And you have to be able to distinguish those small ones because if it's not a small version, then it's going to be a total different word. For instance, ki, ya, ku. If you use a big ya, it's ki, ya, ku. Uh, which means agreement or rules. But if you use a small ya, it becomes kyaku, kyaku, which means a customer. Also, if you remember those voice sounds, you can use it with those too. So, uh, in other words, gi, it becomes gya, gyu, gyo. Ji becomes ja, ju, jo. And the next one is also the same sound, ja, ju, jo. He has two versions, right? Bya, byu, byo, and pya, pyu, pyo. So you can use it with those voice sounds as well. So how was that? Pretty interesting sounds, right? Well, we are almost finished with the hiraganas. Just um, I need to explain about the last small tsu, but I will explain that in the next YouTube lesson. So see you again. Goodbye.